So thank you, Liz. And if you're ready, you can take it away. Okay, good evening, everybody. Thanks for the uh, introduction. I'm excited to play for you all tonight. Um, so I'm going to be starting with a piece by uh, Isaac Albanese, who is a uh, super famous Spanish composer. Uh, he lived from 1860 to 1909. He wrote mostly uh, celebrated solo piano pieces, but uh, guitarists play an arrangement of one of his most famous pieces called Asturias. And uh, this is my first time performing this piece. Um, I just learned it uh, this month since it's so famous and I have never got a chance to play it until recently. So I'm gonna start with that and I'll keep on introducing the rest of the pieces along the way.
that was uh, Asturias by Isaac Albanese. Now I'm going to continue with um, my favorite guitar composer, Julio Regundi. <laughs> A uh, Swiss-born um, composer, and he worked mainly in France and the UK. Sorry, Liz, to interrupt, but we're getting um, we're getting that weird feedback uh, echo all of a sudden. Gundy wrote um, a set of 10 etudes, and I'm learning all of them, and so far I uh, have the first six, so I'm going to play them all, for the first time ever, all the way through, one through six.
Right, so those were one through three. Here comes four through six. Etudes by Ligondi.
Thank you.
All right. So those were uh, Julio Regondi's first six etudes from his set of 10 etudes. And uh, the last two pieces, uh, the first one is by Francesco Tarrega, um, another kind of new piece for me. I performed this one once. Um, another famous Spanish composer. He lived a little bit earlier than Albanese, but um, they overlapped a wee bit. Um, and I should mention that the uh, type of instrument I'm playing, actually, uh, they died the same year, I just realized. 1909. Uh, the instrument I'm playing, this type of guitar, didn't really exist like it is now until the time of uh, Tarega and Albanese. So Regandi, uh, six, the six pieces I just played, uh, was played on a much smaller guitar of the time. Um, so this type of guitar came into existence this size around the 1880s or so. So this is his, uh, Tarega's famous piece, Recuerdos de la Alhambra. And uh, it features a nice tremolo, and it's just a very pretty piece. Let's do a quick retune before I start that.
the last piece I'm going to play, um, it's just about a minute long, and we'll have four minutes for questions, I guess. Uh, this is the Alamon from Box Loot Suite Number no. One in E minor, second movement. <laughs> Thanks everyone so much for tuning in to Oceanside Library for having me and uh, hope I can talk to some of you uh, right now after the show if you have any questions and uh, thanks again. Great. Thank you so much, Liz. That was beautiful. Um, you have a few, a few great comments in here. I'm not sure if you uh, want to take a peek at the chat real quick. Um, to our patrons this evening. If anyone has any questions or comments, uh, feel free to unmute yourself. Or type it in the chat. <laughs> Kathy says, thank you, Liz. The concert was lovely. Albanese, Terega, and Bach are my are favorites of mine. Burgundy is a new for me. <laughs> Thank you for introducing me to this historic player and composer. Okay. Great. What kind of guitar do you have? Um, so most classical guitars are handmade. So the like brand is just the name of the luthier. So uh, mine is Leonard Flatner. And then you can see that in there. This was built in 2013, uh, 2014, I'm sorry. It's his 13th ever guitar built in 2014. I got it in early 2015. Uh, he's a Swiss builder who works in Madrid. And um, I just love the guitar. It's traditional uh, spruce on the outside, Brazilian rosewood on the sides. And inside the, uh, the bracing um, is traditional lattice braced, which is just the most traditional uh normal style of guitar making and if anyone um visits liz's website i was i was checking out her her bio before she's 
an incredibly accomplished musician. So I uh, recommend giving giving her bio a read because it's, it's really such a treat and a pleasure to have her this evening. Anybody else have anything they'd like like to add? Um, Well, I'd like to just say uh, thank you so much, everyone, for listening. And maybe someday I'll come to the real library and play live. Yes, that would be wonderful. <laughs> um, we're, we're slowly getting back to, uh, you know, back to normal. Um, and and that would be a real, a real pleasure. There's, you know, Zoom is great, but there's nothing quite like <laughs> really being there, I'm sure, especially for you as a performer, getting to, to hear the applause and, and you know, see the faces of your audience and the reactions. Um, it's it's a big difference. <laughs> Love the concert. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Um, if nobody has any other questions for Liz, I guess we'll we'll call it an evening. Yeah. All right. So thank you so so much for joining us tonight. Um, Again, and anyone, if you scroll back up through through the chat real quick before we exit out of here, there's the link to Liz's um, website where you can buy her CDs and LPs, as well as a link to subscribe to her newsletter. Um, so, so click through those before we get out of here. And I hope everybody has a lovely evening. I hope everybody enjoyed this beautiful music. It really, uh, it brought a nice calm calmed me <laughs> sitting here and listening to it um so thank you so much liz for for being with us tonight you're welcome thank you all right all right i'll end uh end the, the recording now and i'll end the meeting